What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Quickly wanted to put this up there to kind of show some of the people around who are maybe new to racing or have always just kind of questioned what people wear as a form of safety and protection when racing. And even though I race sprint cars and another person may race late models, uh, dirt street stock, um, a pavement sprint car, Formula One, the safety equipment is rather the same. Um, there's only a couple differences, maybe when it comes to sprint cars, micros, midgets, um, we wear arm restraints, which I'll get into. Other than that, most of the stuff here is pretty much universal around all forms of racing. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about is our fire suit. So right behind me, I have my Simpson three layer fire suit up there, which means I have three layers of protection. And that doesn't include the layer that I, the undergarment layer that I wear underneath this. So I'm pretty well protected from fire. I mean, obviously that doesn't prevent from, from me catching on fire or anything like that, that can still happen. But when I'm wearing a fire retardant suit, it's gonna give me more time to get out of the car, out of the flaming environment, whatever it may be, to get to safety officials who will be able to put fire out. There's plenty of things that can cause a fire in a race car and having a fire good fire suit is always required and it's definitely not something you want to cheap out on. Secondly, we have our helmet here. This is my Simpson Viper helmet. Um, it is a newer version of the Simpson helmet, um, but it is SA2020 certified, which is the most recent certification around right now. Obviously a helmet's important because it's always possible to take an impact and you want to make sure you have a really good helmet to be able to absorb a lot of that shock and to be able to not cause you harm. All of the gear that we wear is important, but the Hans device is definitely one of the most important things that you can wear as protective gear when it comes to racing. So the Hans device here, these tethers actually connect to my helmet. And what this does is when I'm strapped in my seatbelt strap over top of the Hans device, and it keeps my head from moving forward. So if you've ever been in a car accident or anything like that, your head tends to bob forward depending on the way you hit, your head's gonna move. And you wanna limit that as minimal as possible. So that's what the Hans device does, um, which is huge, because if your head can move a lot in a race car, that's not good. These Hans devices are also certified, so they have to be replaced just like a helmet. Um, whenever a new certification comes out or if this is out of time, you can actually send these to get recertified, but you always want to make sure you have up-to-date gear, whether it's your fire suit, helmet, arm restraints, etc. Which leads into our third item, arm restraints. So these are primarily worn by people driving sprint cars, midgets. Um, I know some of the micro guys wear them. Uh, what I know, I'm not sure if there's other forms of racing that use arm restraints as well. These little links right here actually strapped to the seat belt as I'm buckling up. This prevents my arms from moving all over the place. Obviously, in case you were to go rolling or anything like that, your arms aren't going to go all over the place. They're going to be held close to you. How much room you have here will determine how far your arms will be able to move. So I always like to keep mine, you know, enough to where I can maneuver the wheel because you don't want to be stuck in a position where you can't turn the wheel, but you don't want to have them all the way out to where your arms are going to go flying out of the car in the case of an accident. Um, so arm restraints are really important in sprint cars because sprint cars are so light that they really flip easily. They can roll over real easily. Um, so you want to make sure that you always have arm, your arm restraints on and make sure they're tight. Um, if you're not wearing arm restraints, they usually check that in tech and you could get disqualified. So you're forced to wear them, which is good because if you didn't have them, there would be broken arms all over the place, that's for sure. So although they are a small piece of the puzzle, they are definitely important as everything is here. It's gonna wrap up this video. I just wanted to take a quick second to show you guys some of the safety devices and safety items we use as race car drivers. Um, unfortunately, we've had a couple bad accidents in the sprint car community over the last week. Um, so prayers to those families. Kinda wanted to do a quick little thing to show some of the audience, show some of the fans you know, what does a race car driver wear as a means of protection and how it works. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Throw down some comments below if you have any questions or if you want me to go in detail on some of these different products or on some of these different items, let me know below and I will definitely make sure to pay attention to that. So once again, thank you guys all for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.